What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, SSH, back at it again with... Ignorant Trey. And we here with another prank phone call. Destroying lives, one call at a time. Period. So today, we're calling Mr. Bernard. I need a size 12, Bernard. You know, yeah, we call him Bernard. His wife gave us his information to basically violate his parole. And he going back to jail to do Not eight years. that won't let me out. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, you ready? I'm down. I got the little backstory on him. We know all his little business. We ain't gonna tell you all his business. But we know everything about him. Everything about him. Make sure it's a successful call. So let's go ahead and... <clears throat> What's my name gonna be? Mm, officer... Mr. I wanna be uh, Mr. Baxter. Officer Baxter? Hmm. Officer Baxter. Officer Johnson? That sounds a little... Frankish, doesn't it? Officer what? What should my last name be? Doofish Smart. <laughs> no. I watched some movies. Officer Hodge. Movie. Officer Hodge is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Are right, you ready? You about to do it. Let's go. I'm not in right now, but leave your name and number and we'll get this call back as soon as possible. Thank you. That's the wrong number. Thanks. That's it, Mr. Carrillo. He a scammer too? <laughs> okay, how you give us the wrong number but you want us to prank? Come on, sis. Let's do this. Again. I don't know why my heart raising. I ain't even doing it. I'm just here for the kicks and giggles. <laughs> my heart not racing. I'm calm. Now. <laughs> now, right. Because, yeah, I was. You seen how you seen my heart was racing out of my chest. I should have known when she put 917. All right, y'all. we about to do it now. Good evening, my name is Officer Hodge calling with the Texas Department of Parole Division, calling to speak to Mr. Bernard Pitts. This is Mr. Bernard Pitts. Hi, Mr. Pitts, how are you doing this evening? All right. All right, um, I have a few questions for you. Um, I'm filling in for Veronica while she's out on vacation, and um, I just got a few questions for you in regards to a report that just came across my desk. Do you got about five minutes for me really quickly? Yes, sir. All right. Um, so looks like you do have an upcoming court date on September 14th. Um, my concern is that we have a report of a DWI that occurred um, in January. Do you know? Yes. Um, did you report that to our offices at any time? Yes. Um, when did you report that? Uh, Right that this happened, and I was arrested. I was contained for 41 days. Okay. All right. Do you know who you reported that to? My PO. Uh, Vanessa? Yes. All right. Um, do you know exactly what date you, you caught, or did you send an email? Like, how did you inform... Uh, it was uh, the following uh, Monday, I believe. Okay. It, it happened uh, on the 26th, and I think the next couple of days. Okay. So did you. Which was on the weekend. Was this, did this happen via telephone? Was it a phone call? It's a phone call. Okay. 
So you called her while you were incarcerated? No, I was there at night, dog. Okay. Um, we have that you were um, incarcerated for forty-one days. Yes. Um. So yeah, the bond was looked like no. it was. No, I, I was incarcerated because of what I reported. They put a blue one out for me. I'm not seeing any like reports as far as that. Um, right now, the decision that I've got from my supervisor is that it's going to uh, be a, a revoke. Um, instead of the September 14th court date, the have it moved up to September 8th at 8.30 a.m. Um, so you will report at that time to turn yourself in. And, yeah. Um, Vanessa will be there that day as well um, in court, and she'll have more information for you there. Okay. So, what you're saying there, uh, long, uh, which I'm going to turn myself in, but they ain't going to give me a chance to go to court. Yeah, you're going to have the court date that day. Um, it's going to be September 8th at 830. You're going to see the judge, and they're going to um, go through through the process there and you will have a chance to have representation there um if you like um and things like that and then you'll yes your lawyer can be present there at that day and um pretty much going to start the revoc uh the revoke process okay do you have any questions for me at this time yes i i talked to her earlier today she never did say anything about it but no, she did tell me to come in Friday. Um, yeah, the officer Thomas wasn't aware of this. It actually just came in probably about an hour ago, um, and they made the decision pretty much. Everything's done through um, TDCJ, and they send it over to us after it's already completed. So they had the court date already scheduled and stuff. She probably didn't see it on our end. Um, before she left, so I just got it, and I have to, you know, let you know immediately as soon as it crosses our desk. Did my lawyer know about it? Um, from my understanding, is that um, you contact your lawyer and you make him aware of this. Um, I think your bondsman they may get an update, um, but as far as your lawyer, you would be in charge of contacting him. Okay, September eighth, Friday, right? Correct. Yes, sir. 8.30 a.m. Okay, she told me to come in and let my, I'll be there at 8. Yeah, September 8th. Okay. All right, Um, and just so you know, um, this is actually a prank call. Um, you're not going to um, be turning yourself in on September 8th, okay? Your your wife put your wife is not very nice right now. <laughs> she had us call you. <laughs> hey, do you know Stacy? Yeah. Yeah, your wife. She had us call you. Oh my god! Like I didn't even know. Like you sound so sad. I was like, oh my god, he's going to jail. I feel so bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. Please don't have a heart attack. Uh, <laughs> she, she ain't right, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I was. I feel so bad. He said that's not funny. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least it's not. At least it's not true. Enjoy your freedom. All right. All right. <laughs> dinner cook him a nice meal back rub everything you owe him stacy that was gargle wasn't right. gargle the boss <laughs> but you hear me now you're gonna have to do that little thing he like he sounded so sad he though he did he, i'm gonna turn myself in but i got questions dang man I gotta that's do a good this. man though that's a good man like i ain't running from the law i did my right. crime i, I did, did my, my crime time. do my time eight right. years though that's a long time jesus Shit. i don't like our justice system it definitely needs some reform um, but I'm glad that this man is not going to jail. 
All right, I'm glad I'm not a probation officer. I don't have to make those tough phone calls because I would not be able to go home. Y'all know, I actually got hired to be a 911 dispatcher in Plano. You got hired to be one? Yes, I did. Why didn't you do it? Because I did some research and I found out that you have to listen to people die on the phone. And oh. there's nothing you can do about it. And then, guess what happens? Next call. There's no break. There's no get yourself together. I'm a cancer. I feel empathy. I'm going to cry. Oh, you're the first cancer I'd ever seen that. Cause my baby daddy get cancer and this nigga don't feel shit. But him throwing me through a TV. My ex is like that. He's a cancer. So it's like it's either one. It's either they are emotionless or they feel everything. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. I, don't know. I feel everything. I can't do it. I ain't listening to nobody. I ain't listening to no babies five years old telling me, you know, I'm not doing that on the phone. I can't. I can't. I can't go home and live a normal life afterwards. So I did not take the job. Whew. But yeah. She said we are not sorry. <laughs> oh my. Stacy. Stacy ain't playing. She okay. I don't know what he did to her. All right. But she like ain't playing real. with him. If All right. Got a prank call? Drop it in the comment below, and we'll reach out to you. See you next time. Bye.